What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. I want to thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I appreciate it very much. Out here on the river, actually where I was yesterday and from where y'all saw the last video from, and if you watched my last video, you know that I had motor problems which kept me from getting up to where I wanted to go. So this morning, I pulled the carburetor off cleaned it up my needle was stuck i hadn't run this boat in a while before yesterday so got it all cleaned out and now i've actually ran up above where i was yesterday the motor is running absolutely perfect so i'm very very excited about that and we're going to run up here and we're going to get up to where i wanted to go yesterday and we're actually going to do like a 30 minute challenge okay so basically what i'm going to do is 30 minutes straight of fishing, non-stop, no editing, nothing. If I get hung, you're going to see it. If I miss a fish, you're going to see it. If I break off, you're going to see it. It's going to be 30 minutes straight, uncut, raw footage of me fishing, and you're going to see my ups, downs. You're going to see me catch fish, not catch fish. I don't know what is going to happen, but we're going to run up here to my very first spot. It's gonna be a good spot and we're probably gonna start off with the frog, buzz bait, flipping, whatever we're gonna do. But we're gonna see how many fish we can catch in a 30 minute stretch. So I'm very excited. I think that we should be able to catch some fish. I'm gonna go, well, let's see if we can catch eight fish in 30 minutes. That might be doable, it might not, I'm not sure. We're gonna fire up the old mercury and get up there. Let's see if we can catch them. 30 minutes straight, 30 minutes uncut. You're about to see it. All right, so we've done got up here to where I'm gonna start at. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my chesty strapped on, I'm gonna get this back camera set up, and I'm actually going to cut on a timer on my phone. And as soon as I start it at the third, you know, start it, I'm gonna set it for 30 minutes. And as soon as it hits 30 minutes, we're gonna stop. So we gotta see what we got. We're gonna fish hard. I'm gonna start right here on the left and we're gonna jump over to the right. Got a couple good shorelines we're gonna hit. Maybe we catch a big one, but we're gonna go for eight fish. So let's see if we can get them. All right, let's get everything halfway straight. And like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here on this left side and I'm gonna start off with the frog, but I'm gonna set the timer on my phone. Not even gonna cut my depth finder on. Ain't even no need for that. But let's get the frog ready. And I got the old black and yellow tied on. And you can see I'm not throwing this on that loose combo. I got it back on the old Vendetta that I finished off last year with. So we're gonna get this set up. We're gonna kinda get over there closer. What time is it? What time are we starting at? It is, okay, so it's 4.32 right now, 4.32, but let's get this timer going. If I even remember how to do this. All right, so let's get this timer going. Where are we at? Clock, timer, and we're gonna do 30 minutes. 30 minutes right there, zero seconds. 30 minutes, zero seconds right there. All right, so boom, starting. All right, we're on. We're on. Oh, first cast. A little ugly. These fish should be set up and they should be biting. Might need to pick that buzz bait up. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Got some really good current. Got this good outside bend right here. I 
don't have my net out. I might should get that out. Let's get that out real quick. Like I said, this is 30 minutes straight. If I move, if I run the boat or whatever, you're gonna you're gonna see it. Oh, this net is so hung up, like got leaves and stuff all in it. All right. So we're gonna fish this left shoreline. It's a good outer bend. Then we're gonna jump over here to the right side and we're gonna fish that shoreline. And I got another shoreline up. If I see I'm getting down to crunch time, I'm gonna start that motor up and we're gonna run up to that next one because I'm not real sure how long it's gonna take me to fish these shorelines. And also I'm gonna have to kind of see how the, how the fish are biting. Gonna, not gonna have a lot of time for changing up and all getting hung and stuff like that is not going to be on the top of my list of things to do so kind of need to stay on this trolling motor and keep keep moving up but hopefully the fish are set up it was cloudy this morning and it's not cloudy now so i don't know that might have them a little screwed up they might have bit really good this morning I don't know. oh there's one right there oh he's hung up there we go all right so here's fish number one and he's a pretty good one too all right there's a solid one got him on that dart frog get out of there there you go chunk all right there's fish number one i don't know how far we are into the into the challenge i really don't even want to look get off there get off there all right messed up my cast all right so we're we're three minutes two and a half minutes basically into our challenge and we got a fish already that's how you want it to be Like I said, I'm not, I'm not cutting this video. I'm not editing this video, nothing. The way you're seeing it happen is the way it's happening. A couple more casts over here on this side. to get one behind this tree right here this is 100% what I wanted to get yesterday Terrible cast. This is where this frog comes into play in these rivers and all. See, I can throw back there where I wouldn't be able to throw a lot of other things other than if I like pitch a bait in there or something. Not even sure if black is really the the deal. I threw a white frog yesterday, but the day before that, or last week, I threw threw black, and they seem to be on that a little bit better. This should be a fish. Ooh come up and bust it at it. I've already done thrown this thing a couple places that I don't really like the fact that I 
I didn't get, oh, God, fish blew up on it as soon as I, as soon as it hit the water. We're gonna pick that buzz bait up and it's like a little dead water area right here. Oh, I threw it up in the tree. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. This getting hung deal. That's why that frog is so good up here in the river. You got so much stuff just sticking out that you can get hung on. Like this, just this little teeny limb right here. A little root ball is all it is. Get off of there. There we go. No rage bug. Ooh, that's from where I got home yesterday. I can't believe I didn't get knocked right there. Get that old frog back up. Oh, there's one. Oh, God, that was a good fish. Oh, I still got him. Do I got him? Oh, no. That was a good fish. Man, my frog like pulled all the way down on my hook. I don't really like how it did that. Didn't didn't get the hook in him. That was a nice fish. That was at least a two pounder. He kind of, oh, y'all saw that. Oh my goodness. This is why I wanted to show y'all the raw 30 minutes of fishing so you could just see, see what happens. Don't always happen perfect, that's for sure.
these fish will they'll like come and set up sometimes out here suspended on these outside logs and limbs and stuff and a lot of places you know a frog or something isn't the best way to catch them but in a river man a frog will pull them up i mean it will it will get it done i have honestly thrown this in a few places that i'm kind of surprised i haven't gotten bit at this being one of them but we're gonna throw that rage bug down there that's for sure this should get knocked got bit didn't hold on to it though Most of the time, what I've learned with a buzz bait, just through the years, what I've learned with the buzz bait is it is a bait where if they're on it, you figure out that they're on it very quick. Fish just pushed it, fish just bit it again. You figure out very quick if they're on it or not because they just, they bite it. They bite it very, very quickly. And they let you know kind of what's up, you know. Um, whereas like a frog or something like that, you know, you can, you can grind that bad boy out and get bites, but the buzz bait, most of the time, if they're on it, you ain't got to throw it long. And they let you know, kind of like yesterday. They kind of let you know that they're on it. All right, we're gonna hang that off the side right there. I'm gonna pick up that flippy stick, cause I know dog going well. It is a bass right there. For sure. It's gotten very humid. And it just did that kind of recently. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, that was a small fish. But it was a bite. We're going for... We're going for eight, so we got to get them if we can. Get the old frog back up. There's a nice one. There's a nice one. All right, fish number two. He is spinning like crazy. Gotcha. Double roofed and perfect. There you go. Ooh, he's a dirt bass. He's one of them dirt bass. Got that short upper lip. <laughs> Check that guy out. All right, thank you, bud. All right, number two. Number two. And I had just flipped right in there, or well, very close to it, a couple casts before. So I'm not sure how long we've been fishing. Let's see. What we got, what we got? Oh my, okay. We got 13 minutes left. 
time is ripping by very fast. So we're gonna make one cast right up here and then we're gonna get up to this next shoreline. And man, I don't, I don't know if eight fish now is possible. I thought it was, but time has just absolutely blown by. I'm gonna throw one more cast right here and we're gonna, we're gonna run back there to that motor. We're gonna get up here to this next shoreline. Like I said, y'all are seeing it just like it's happening right here. Just like it's happening. I'm gonna go up to this next shoreline. This probably is the shoreline that I should have started on, to be honest with you, but that's all right. I wanted to hit that other one too because I thought there was definitely a chance at a, at a big fish. Should definitely be able to get one back here, like kind of right up in front of me right here. Maybe get us a big one. Right in there. Should have got crushed. Let's see if we can get one under here. It's getting under there, perfect. don't want to go all the way up in there because if I do it's going to take time away there we go oh man that should have just got smoked that one over there All right, so what do we got? Oh, we got about 10 minutes left. Caught some fish right here the other day on the rage bugs. Pick this up, right, right here. I mean, eight fish was definitely setting the bar high. Definitely setting the bar high, undoubtedly. Oh, see, see, here we go. This is, this is stuff that, that y'all don't see right here. And that's getting hung up. All right. Got a feeling maybe like black isn't the deal. Maybe, I'm not sure. I just know it is massively humid right now. Gotta be careful not to get hung up.
I'm not even gonna lie. I'm really surprised that I'm not catching more fish. I think it might have to do with what I'm throwing. I don't think I'm throwing the right thing. Should be one right here. This is a really good spot. As a matter of fact, this is where I had that great big one break uh, break my rod the other day. Humidity is like, oh God. Humidity is like 130 right now. Let's flip up in there. I think I can get one through it. There's one. Oh my God. <laughs> But well, there's number three. He's tiny, but there's number three. He went flying. He don't know what in the world happened. Oh man, I don't think we got but probably like five minutes left maybe. Man, we just like flip right here. Try to grind out those eight fish. I mean, normally you can definitely catch more fish like flipping a lot of times, but you don't catch quite as big a fish. get that as far as I wanted to up to the bank there's one that got one. Oh, he got me hung no 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 oh he's not on there anymore no that sucks so bad he pulled me down in it man and I'm messing up this good spot now and right here along this shoreline is like deep oh god like a snake's gonna freaking come out from under here. Oh man, had to break it off. No good. No good. What is going on with my reel? That thing was like hung down in a root. I couldn't do anything with it. Three fish is all we got right now. Three fish.
Oh, this is such a bummer. I got I got another rod rigged up and I didn't put a I didn't put anything on it. I guarantee you I don't know how much time I got left. I bet I'm gonna run out of time while I'm putting this on. Oh, what do we got? Two minutes and 45 seconds. Oh my goodness, my line is wrapped all around my tip. Oh, there we go. Oh, this thing is like way loose. This end. There should be one right there. Oh, let's get over here and throw the frog on this outside bin right here. Man, this has been a little bit tougher challenge than what I thought, I'm going to be honest. Only three fish right now. And we are like almost out of time. But I'm glad my motor's running good. That's one good thing. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of these spots, I am very surprised that this thing is not getting wrecked in. It's gotta be like a color thing. Like, they might want white, I'm not sure. And I did catch them on a white buzz bait yesterday, but. Oh, I got a feeling this is going to be like my last cast. So we got like 39 seconds left right there. Oh man, we got to flip this. We've got to flip it. Right there. And we're going to put one right here in front of us. one oh he come off oh no he come off and it, it, it's it's like and there's our time there's our time right there oh man well that was fun i mean that's my first time i've done a challenge that's it 30 minutes three fish that was all we got done oh i lost that fish right there and i mean that felt like a good one. Oh man well that's it that's it i mean we're gonna latch everything down we're gonna call it like that's that's all i'm gonna fish that's all i wanted to do was do a quick little 30 minute challenge with everybody and show y'all kind of fishing as it happens and unedited uh just kind of fun thing to do so we're gonna get right head back to the ramp all right everybody well that is it missed out on a couple fish but you know i fished hard 30 minutes showed y'all you know how it was just grinding out here 30 minutes straight unedited i just thought it was a cool idea that i saw on greg blanchard's channel so i wanted to come out here and give it a try and i was hoping for more fish but you know that's how it happens they won't really kill in the frog you know i went to the buzz bait i threw that a little bit not a lot but a little bit won't get in the bites that i wanted on that you know got a couple bites on the rage bug i really think that's what the fish were biting today better than anything else and just got hung and missed the fish and just kind of unfortunate that last one felt pretty heavy and uh and i lost him but that's fishing that's how it is and 
you know, it was fun coming out here and I'm glad my motor's running good. That's the main thing. That's the main thing I wanted to test out was my motor. So I really appreciate y'all watching. Go check out some of my other videos and check out the links down below. Um, you know, those people support me whenever you buy something from them and use my code, it helps out the channel. So I really, really appreciate that. I will see you next time. I kind of forgot what I was going to say, but anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Gunfish TV.